Hey, it's Bruce from TPC. I'm here with Justin England. He is our lead buyer. He's a former pro cyclist, helmet wearer. Occasionally. Yep, always on the bike. And he is going to walk us through our Giro Road helmet lineup that we have here at TPC. Justin, why don't we start with the uh, top of the line helmets? We have the Eclipse and the Aries. That's right. So we got the Eclipse, which is a little bit more of an aerodynamic focused helmet. You can see that it has less vents than the Aries. Wind tunnel tests show that this helmet saves nearly a minute over the previous aero helmet from Giro, the Vanquish. Most importantly though, the biggest development is that it comes with this MIPS spherical technology. Now you can see here, the actual helmet inner liner pivots separate from the outer liner of the helmet. Now previous MIPS generations had a liner inside that was basically just a plastic sleeve that kind of slipped around. What this means is that the helmet can pivot independently from the rest of where it's interfacing with your head so that crash protection is at a premium. Cool. And comparatively, the area is definitely it's way more ventilated. Um, I think this is the most ventilated helmet that Giro's ever made, right? That's right. This one's going to keep you cool on those hot days. You can see these translucent arches here. These are called the Aura 2 reinforcement arches. What these do is provide a little bit more structural integrity to the helmet overall without adding too much weight and with allowing for a ton of ventilation on the top here. Again, it's got the spherical MIPS technology, so you can see how it pivots independently from the base of the helmet, providing the ultimate crash protection. And another call out too, I noticed it's got these channels in the foam, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, these keep your head extra cool, keep the air circulating around your head. But since these are both top line helmets, they come at a price. Yep, that's right. The Aries hits a $300 price point, while the Eclipse hits a $250 price point. Both of them, you're gonna get that spherical MIPS technology, both of them top of the line performance. The Aries, a little bit more ventilation, a little bit lighter weight. So let's say you wanna spend a little bit less but you want sort of the same protection, a lot of the same features, we could look at this Helios helmet, right? That's right, the Helios is a great option. It comes in at a $250 price point. It has that spherical MIPS technology, plenty of ventilation, not quite as much as the Aries, but a great all around helmet for someone looking a little bit more on the budget conscious side of things. Yeah, and I think the uh, ventilation is comparable to their old Aether, their old top of the line helmet. Yep, so for a $250 price point, you're hitting nearly the same ventilation that you wore with the uh, the old Aether helmet. Yeah, and I guess if you want to save a little bit more, we have the Synth. And the Synth used to be Jira's top of line helmet, but it's sort of their mid-range helmet now. That's right, the Synth 2 is still in the lineup. It does not have the spherical MIPS technology, but it does have regular MIPS technology, so great crash protection as well there, coming in at an even better price point of 200 bucks. Great, so I guess for me, the Eclipse, that's the helmet I'm gonna ride at, you know, fast, flat events, unbound sure. gravel, the Aries, big climbing days, Helios, so I'll, I'll get that for my kid. Maybe even the same. Yeah, I think that's a good spread. So you can find all these Giro helmets and more at www.tpc.bike. So go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching.